Hey, what's up guys? DRC3 here back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video and today we are going to be doing a showcase for this UR Kaminari right here. He is level 100, however his basic board is not done yet. It's only up to board 7, but board 7 is still a pretty good place and I wanted to show off this Kaminari because I feel like everybody just bags on him way too much. He is so controversial in the My Hero community. A lot of people think he is garbage or trash or not very good and I have to just disagree. I think he is an awesome character. I think he's a lot of fun to use and I think you guys would be dumb to sleep on this character but that's just my opinion. You know, if you think he's trash, feel entitled to your opinion. You're fine. You know, don't get upset about this video. I just think he is very, very good, and that is just my opinion. And I'm going to kind of try to show you guys why. But first off, I will say I think he's very good in PvP. I used him a lot in PV PvP before, and he is one of the only characters with an attack all plus ultra. And that attack all plus ultra can sometimes help you defeat even the hardest opponents you probably shouldn't be able to defeat. Now, there are obvious downsides, like he hurts your teammates. Okay, but couple him with the right characters like you see here, like Najire or Uraraka, and they're going to be able to heal the, or mitigate the damage that you do to your own team, so it doesn't matter as much. And now, of course, you don't need to have Najire and Uraraka on the team with this Kaminari just for him to work. One of the two will suffice. I just have both because I actually want to see the damage that Kaminari can do in this showcase, and I don't really want to see the damage other characters can do, so I figured two healing characters would be a good way to see what Kaminari can do. And the memory I have equipped to him is just a crypt memory, so it's not super important. So with all that said, let's really quickly go over his skills and then we're going to hop into the showcase. So his plus ultra move is Indiscriminate Shock, 1.3 million volts, just like the anime. The skill impact is increased by 30% temporarily if HP is 80% or higher, and it increases the chance of paralyzing others if HP is less than 80%, so he gets an increased chance of paralyzing when he has less than 80% health. And then he deals 550% damage to all opponents, deals 130% damage to all allies, and then has a medium chance of paralyzing all opponents and allies for one turn with a chance for two turns, low chance for two turns. And so... You can see how good that plus ultra is right there. It goes up to, I think, 600% six, when you get this to level 3. Obviously, it's a level 2 right now because I don't have his basic board completely done. So, 550% damage right now to all enemies and only 130% to your team that you can heal up in the Jire or, uh, or Araka. I will take that trade because that is very good, especially in VE Towers where you have to face multiple enemies or pvp where you obviously have to face three players or three enemies okay so keep that in mind and i'll kind of show you just how good that is here in this ve tower his first action skill is human stun gun skill impact is increased by 50 percent if hp is 80 percent or higher has a higher chance of paralyzing the opponent if hp is less than 80 percent deals 310 percent damage to a single opponent medium chance of paralyzing the opponent for one turn that medium chance of paralyzing the opponent seems like it procs more often than not so that is a really good effect and then 310 percent damage on a action skill is pretty good i think they did that because he only has one action skill that causes damage though so they made the damage fairly high and skill impact being increased by 50 percent when hp is 80 percent or higher is also a nice bonus so very good move right there i think that move is phenomenal really good it is kind of offset by this move, not having another action skill that does damage, but this action skill is still good. It's called Thunderclap. It increases character's plus ultra gauge by 30% if HP is 80% or higher, and regenerates the character's HP by 20% for 3 turns if HP is less than 80%. Also gives character composure for 3 turns. So, the fact that he can raise his plus ultra gauge if you have more than 80% health is nice, I guess. Because he does get his plus ultra quite quickly, you can use it a couple more times than normal characters in PvP, it seems like. Uh, at least based on the times I've used him. And then, regenerating his HP is the best part of this effect, though. So when you fall below 80%, you are going to restore your HP by 20% for 3 turns. That is really, really good. Like, really good. And so, typically, like, if you're in PvP, you're going to want to use this move, Thunderclap, after you've used his Human Stun Gun. So you use Human Stun Gun, turn 1, then Thunderclap, to kind of heal up the damage you might have taken turn 1. Alright, 
And then his auto skills, his first one is electric. Increases characters plus ultra move skill impact by 35% from the fifth turn onward. Also decreases characters defense by 20% when confused. So this is another one of those weird quirks people don't like him decreasing his defense by 20% when he gets confused. Hopefully though, you're not getting confused all that much right now because there's not a ton of characters in the game that confuse. So you should be fairly safe from that. Okay, and then, but the other part of this auto skill is really sick and really cool. Increases characters plus ultra move skill impact by 35% from the fifth turn onward. So our goal in this showcase is to get a plus ultra turn three and to get a plus ultra after turn five and see what the difference in damage is. All right. And then his other auto skill is overflowing current. It freezes the opponent for one turn if character's HP is below 30% when attacked. So if he gets attacked, basically he's going to paralyze the opponent for one turn if he's below 30% health. Also, just once it's going to increase his plus ultra gauge by 60% from the fifth turn onward. So for the fifth turn, we're going to basically get a free plus ultra. So he's kind of crazy in that his action skill is going to raise plus ultra and this auto skill is going to raise plus ultra. So he's going to get like by turn six or seven, two or three plus ultras, which is really good. As long as you have the ability to mitigate the damage with your teammates. And then below I have EX auto skills. They're just basically to increase skill impact or to restore HP. Okay, so nothing too special there. Alright, so with all that said, let me show you which stage we're taking on. We are taking on the speed stage with the present mic, the yellow type, the mine type, and the Kurogiri, the blue type. I wanted to do this stage because I want Kaminari to have a type advantage and a type neutral so we can kind of see the difference in damage and how much he does with his plus ultra. Alright, so I know I said we were going to do the uh, present Mike and Kurogiri fight, but I decided not to do that because Kurogiri kept dodging and I felt like we couldn't really see what Kaminari could do. And so instead we're going to do this stage where we still have type of damage and a type neutral and we're going to see what type of damage we can do with Kaminari's plus ultra. Turn 3 and turn 5 is the goal to see the difference. Alright, proc a paralyze. Okay, got to paralyze. Huge. And that's a medium chance to paralyze. I feel like I said, like it procs more often than not for whatever reason, which is nice. All right. And we'll use three heals because why not? Get our plus ultra gauge up. Realistically, Kaminari could have gotten his plus ultra gauge up without that skill chain because he increases his plus ultra with that move. That's fine. Alright, and we are not going to use our Araka or Nigeria's plus ultras because I want to see just what these guys can do. Alright, so Lita is currently at 175,000 health. Stain, we don't know how much exactly, but hopefully we will catch the numbers and it won't move too fast for us to see. Check out this plus ultra when it comes through though. This plus ultra is so sick. Is that not sick? That is so cool. And he did 65,000 to both of them, roughly. Look at that damage that that Kaminari does, guys. Look at that damage. Look at that damage and then tell me this guy is not good. Look at that. This guy is impressive. Impressive. That stain was at almost full health and now he is at a quarter of his health. This guy is impressive. All right, <laughs> sorry. With that said, let's continue on. I'm gonna speed it up. I'm still not gonna use their plus ultras. We're gonna try to get Kaminari's plus ultra again. Cause like I said, we just want to see what Kaminari can do. All right, and we'll go for a paralyze and a power down. Get our plus ultra gauge up. Big. Paralysis. Just look at this guy. Paralysis. Attack all. Oh my goodness. He is so good. Plus ultras out the butt. 
Alright, let's use this plus ultra, let's see what he does. Let me double check. Okay, increases character speed, increases character skill impact by 63% for plus ultra moves. His skill impact is up by 63% for plus ultra moves. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, so now that his skill impact is up by 63%, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we get to see this beautiful animation again. This is literally one of the best animations in the game. It's so cool. I should have paid attention to how much damage was there. I don't think we did as much damage that turn, for whatever reason. Let me check. Increases character skill impact by 63% and still up by 63%. So, hmm. Strange. I would have expected more damage. But nonetheless, this guy is still a beast. Look at that. He's paralyzed. He can't do anything to fight us. That's very nice. Alright, let's use this right here. I think we're above 80%. Hopefully it will... All right, I don't want to target him. Hopefully it will raise the plus ultra gauge instead of healing, but we'll see. Alright, yeah. Raise plus ultra gauge. Ah, uh, it's not even going to matter. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have used their plus ultras. Alright, anyways, you guys can see that almost all of that damage was literally Kaminari just using two plus ultras. Two plus ultras almost beat an S4 by themselves. Think about that. That's how good this Kaminari is, and he's not even board 9. He's not fully done like Najire is right there. He is that strong and that good and that crazy. And then look at those status ailments too. Five status ailments with just Kaminari. Kaminari did all those status ailments on his own within seven turns. So I know a lot of people when they're trying to do tower challenges or things like that, they're going to be looking for status ailments. This Kaminari is so, so good. And yes, it's kind of a risk because you risk paralyzing your team or you risk damaging your team, but built with the right team, this Kaminari is the GOAT, guys. Like, man, he is just so, so, so good. I don't know. That's my opinion of him. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you think this Kaminari is a good character? Personally, I think he's a great character for PvP and PvE. That's my opinion. I can't talk this guy up enough. I really think he's good, and I really want people to not bag on him so much so let me know in the comments what you think below i appreciate you guys watching thank you for taking the time if you enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like commenting or subscribing peace